You're watching Shoot Your Shot TV, and today we have one of my favorite Jordans of all time, the Jordan 8s. These are the Jordan Playoff 8s from 2013. As some of you may know, this shoe is set to return in September 2023, celebrate its 30th anniversary. Over here, we kind of wanted to get a head start and break down the shoe for those who've never had the experience of owning a Jordan 8 and those who might be interested in picking them up down the line. This Jordan Playoff 8 is constructed mostly of this new buck upper material. For the sock liner and tongue, you have this soft neoprene material with a crazy pattern on the inside. You have strokes of white, yellow, red, bright conquered. On the front of the tongue, it's more of that neoprene material. You have this Chenille Jordan logo in red, and it comes with flat black laces. You have these new buck cross straps that cover the laces. They have a white embroidered 23 with a red outline. They have these plastic buckles that connect to the Velcro straps towards the heel of the shoe that spell out Air Jordan for more stability and support. Taking us down to the toe box, you have more of that black new buck material. And on the side panels of the shoe, you have these small perforated holes to let some air through on both sides of the shoe. Taking us to the back of the shoe, the 2013 version came with the black pull tabs. You have this rigid pattern right here and more of that new buck suede. It's kind of bumpy, more of that Velcro as well. And taking us right above the midsole, you have this plastic overlay in white and it has thick strokes of red and black. You have this black midsole, two-tone. It has a little shiny obsidian black as well that accents the dark black. This midsole encapsulates what you can not see, the air zoom units in the forefoot and the heel of the shoe. Taking it to the outsole, you have more of those bright colors, more of those strokes in red, black, yellow, bright conquered. And to top it all off, you have this yellow jump man. And for those who might not know, the Jordan 8 was designed by Tinker Hatfield. He's a pure legend. He's created some of our most loved, iconic Jordan models, and the Jordan 8s are no different. When Jordan put these on, he was on the verge of completing his first three-peat with the Chicago Bulls against the Phoenix Suns. Charles Barkley, Dan Marley, Kevin Johnson and them guys, they couldn't get it done against Air Jordan when he strapped up the black Jordan playoff 8s. And these very well could have been the last Jordan model that he hooped in. He retired and went to go play baseball for the Birmingham Barons, a minor league team associated with the Chicago White Sox. Shout out to Fitted Algebra for this fitted. And back in 1993, this was a very futuristic looking shoe. And even now in 2023, it looks like a sneaker from the near future. But it also just encapsulates the 90s so well with the bright colors, the crazy silhouette, the straps, the Velcro. And it looks like a Keith Haring painting on the inside with all those vivid strokes, the yellow, the bright conquered, and it's just a silhouette that flies under the radar. I love it. I love the Bugs Bunny colorway. I also like the aqua colorway that he played in in the All-Star game that year, and they didn't have any other colors except for these three, but they're all classics in my opinion, and I'm just super excited that the 2023 version is coming out, and I hope you guys are too. The major difference between the 2013s, the 2007s, and the 2023s is that the 2023 will be closer to the original, having that red pull tab and a little bit of a glossier shine on the strokes right here on the plastic panel. My 07 pair had soul separated on me and I was feeling the void of not having the playoff eights in my collection. Luckily enough, I was able to score a near dead stock pair on eBay, the 2013 version, for a good price. So shout out to that guy who hooked me up. Wasn't patient enough to hold out for the 2023 version, but I definitely will be picking those up. And just seeing all the early early pictures, the early looks, the early on foot, it looks really well done. I think Nike really hit it on the head and it's not labeled reimagined Jordan 8s, but they're pretty on par with the originals that dropped back in 1993, 30 years ago, which is crazy that a shoe like that still just holds a special place in my heart, man. Hopefully we get a proper retro of the Aqua 8s and the Bugs Bunny 8s as well. Would love to have it, would love to see it. But let us know how you guys feel about the playoff 8s in the comments below. Is this something you guys are gonna pick up in September? Do you love this model? Do you hate it? Let us know, we'd love to hear from you guys. But let's go ahead and try these on. Yeah. I never asked to be put on. Trailing ACGs, cause we outside. Never asked to be put on. I went and got it on my own, that's for sure, dog. Might pull up on ATVs. Then hit the trailing ACGs, cause we outside. Ready for all conditions, I'm outside with it. I might go fishing, no, I do not hold feelings. I go off road if the road missing. You know that the flow 
different Shooting shots while all these hoes go tending I might go swimming if the girls are skinny dipping I'm not balling on them, but I am not penny pinching Captain of the ship, I promise you we never sink in if you enjoyed this review right here, make sure you check out all our other Jordan 1 reviews. We got a bunch of them for you guys to enjoy. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Drop a like, drop a comment, and we'll catch you guys on the next episode.